Psychology, depression is a bitch that won't stop texting me. Hi everybody, welcome back. I am so glad to see you guys this week. I have some exciting videos lined up, so I hope you guys are ready. And it's going to be a lot of Shop Miss A. So we're going to start this week off with the best of Shop Miss A. Which I haven't done in a hot minute. And I do, I am almost there for a worst of Shop Miss A which we see a lot less of um, as well, but that's only because I find a lot less misses, which is a good thing. Um, but they've come out with so much recently that almost, like, I can't even keep up. So the best of Shop Miss A is backlogged, as we know. But let's get into it because there is a lot, and I'll tell you guys what made it in into the series here. The first thing is their, um, I think it's just AOA, it's still wet from this morning, but their no drip wristbands. These are a go, you guys. I told you that I got a pair off on Amazon. Um, they were tighter on my wrist. I wanted to know if these would be good for plus size. I feel that they will be, um, unless you are extremely plus size and are genetically like have a bigger wrist you might feel that these are tight but i still think that they are wearable and usable and they work really really good because also unlike the ones i got from amazon these ones are bigger and puffier so they grab every water even the one that like flicks and hits your skin and jumps it collects all of it that way your sleeves and your arms aren't soaked when you're done washing your face these are definitely worth having. Why did they not think of those sooner? Like just in general, every brand. The next thing I grabbed two of, oh, I should have grabbed the other one because I'm actually not using it today and didn't even think of it. But these scrunchies, what I call t-shirt scrunchies because they feel like a very cotton breathable um, t-shirt and they're floppy but they're scrunchies and they just recently came out so I do believe they still have them. I have two in black, one in white and I have been using the crap out of them. I love them. There's a little bit of heaviness to them. They don't look too odd in your hair and there's a really good elastic in it too. So I've had no issues with these and sometimes their hair scrunchies can be a little sus. So I wanted to let you guys know that the t-shirt ones are a good go. They don't call them t-shirt ones. I do, but I'll link it down below for you guys, the right one. <laughs> the next thing I told you guys, I broke the first one and had to try this out again. This is the OKI Fresh Towel. No, not towel. Let's try it again. The Fresh Toilet Flower Gels. Well, everything has so much... I can't present it without becoming tongue-tied. This is part of the Paw Paw collection, which is usually pretty good. I got the blue ones before, I think, and I did not read the instructions because I thought it would be pretty explanatory. It's not. You have to do it a certain way or you will break it because it is a cheaper product. They work so good, though. They work so good and it's not a one-time thing you know you put three gels into your toilet bowl but then you still have 75 percent of that left and you just put it under your sink and use it as needed and it lasts for a good week those gels i mean my son did touch it and then wipe it all over the the toilet seat so that was fun but you know we got past that we learned some things so these are they're great. They really, really are great. They're a great value. Um, and I would recommend them. It's just if you have younger children, make sure to let them know that these are not something to be touched because it's disgusting. <laughs> now the next thing, because um, AOA just dropped a ton of single shadows, and even though that they showed this huge like metallic palette, um, they didn't come out with a magnetic palette that was big enough. The one that was showed in the single shadow pictures. They never dropped that. And I don't know if that was an oversight or if they just, you know, there was something wrong with the warehouse. They didn't like it. They needed to go back into whatever and fix something. I don't know. But it was a little irritating because who wants a bunch of single shadows 
floating around. Um, which, speaking of, on Wednesday, we're going to really get to know each one of those single shadows. So you have an idea of which ones you may want to grab if you haven't already. But if you have, like me, I would go towards these for now until you get the bigger palette do the smaller ones which is by a company i think it's a20 or a plus these hold nine shadows which i already have nine of uh, a20 i believe these are their single shadows not the aoa ones so I still have mine floating around too. I need to grab a couple of these. Usually they are, at least some of them are on sale. So I think they are around $4 a piece instead of 10 or something like that. So these are a great deal. And even though they only hold nine, if you're not like me, you I almost purchased every single one. I probably will end up purchasing every single one of the single shadows from AOA. But I passed along two of my huge magnetic palettes and now I wish I didn't so these have been great for me and at least organizing and holding things so that's an option if you didn't know that they had those on the site and I did I did ended up putting these in the best of shop miss a I kind of did the math with the the kinds you can get that are are good enough at Walmart Target areas like that CBS versus this site shop miss a the AOA pro nails they are worth it they definitely are especially for the glue that you get honestly I pay five dollars for the nail glue that comes with these nails because it's that good I'm using it now and these aren't even shop miss a nails that I have on I love them so much and they have a ton of designs and the designs are really classy and nice and they fit my fingers usually nails that I get at Walmart Target places like that they're just not fit for bigger fingernails and mine are bigger especially my thumbnails and these fit so that was a huge plus I just wanted to make sure that they were a good value because they are part of the pro line so they're five dollars each not a dollar but they're worth it. They are worth it. They definitely are worth it. So I'll be grabbing more myself. The next thing, I can't remember if I told you these were great or not. So I'm going to do it again. That is the crystal sets, the Gua Sha crystal sets that they came out with. They do have other kinds, but these are true crystals. I don't know if you can see on your side, but from my side, I can see right through this amethyst. And that is a clear sign that this is a crystal. Um, I looked at the site and it does not link it as a glass. It links it as a stone. So this, these are real rose quartz amethyst. And that is pretty awesome for the price that you get. And even though this is a mix and match, that <laughs> this um, my rose quartz one is somewhere. But all you get all three of these in the set. They are completely worth it completely worth it. Um, they're, they're the best um, quality that I've gotten. I've gotten a ton of these from the first kind that um, AOA came out with to Amazon kinds to brands sending me some. These are the best value. And if you're a crystal collector like me, crystals. Hell yeah. <laughs> the next things, you guys, I tried, I think in a video, I tried using some of these palettes. I have been trying them out past that and I highly recommend them. I'm still waiting on the new nine pan ones that or even no, these are the nine pans, but the other nine pan ones they added to it and the blushes they added to the cherry blossom line. I'm still waiting on those in the mail, but these nine color cherry blossom shadow palettes that AOA came out with are amazing. They are great quality. AOA found they found their eyeshadow, their eyeshadow formula. I'll tell you that. They have beautiful colors. They are easy to work with. They do have different formulas within the palette, so you do need to be aware of that. Swatch your palette. Get to know your palette before you use it so you know where you're going. But, yeah, even though I thought there would be a more pinker, this is the pinkest there kind of is in the range, um, I still do love the colors of each of these and the formulations. So the AOA Cherry Blossom palettes, the first ones, they are a go and they are really, really good. And they're pretty packaging, which I'm surprised. I love that they're kind of changing up their packaging. 
Now these next and last things I might have mentioned in another Best of Shop Masse. It's bound to happen. I, it kind of goes on what I use the most um, that month of what stands out. And if I don't automatically see it in the last two videos, I usually talk about it again. But the first one here are the AOA Tall Lash Mascaras. These are so good. I have one in black and one in dark brown. I I only use the dark brown. I've used the black once. There's not much of a difference that you can tell, but I just love these. The wand on them is so incredibly thin. I mean, it's it's almost like there's not a wand there. Little tiny spikes on that one side that grab every single lash possible on your eye and really makes you look like you have some amazing lashes. So I've really been liking this when I'm not wearing any false lashes at all. But if you are wearing false lashes, these grab right a hold of the hairs and really mix the false lash in with the real lash. So they're also great with false lashes too. So all around a big hit for me. And then lastly, their gel eyeliners. Now we know that they first came out with just their normal AOA brown and black and they suck so bad and then they reformulated them and wow they're amazing they did a really good job they found their formula in their gel line and then they decided to come out with a bunch more but in different packaging the first ones it's all black packaging now these are white and they're brightly colored but they also do come with a black which is good too the quality of all of these are good you have to be careful of breakage because they are that soft so be gentle but you can also, like, this one here in the um, sand dollar is much shorter than the other ones because I use it. It's nude. It kind of opens up your eyes if you wear, um, use it on your waterline. I've been using the crap ton on these. I love having the options of having a bright eyeliner if I want and need one. I've really been kind of gravitating more towards either brown or colored eyeliners. And I'm not sure why. It's just where I'm at in life. So these are definitely a go as well. There is a moth in here, a literal moth, and it just landed on my ring light. It's really pretty, though. All right, so that is everything so far that I wanted to share with you guys for the best of Shop Miss A. I have a lot of stuff coming in, so there's a lot more to talk about. You will be seeing another Best of Shop Miss A. If you want to see it, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe so you do not miss it. And I, of course, will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.